to be very honest, as a minority group, there's not a lot of networking between the Jewish minority and other ones. I think Jews struggle to be accepted as, as Slovaks in a sense. Um, so we don't, although we feel Jewish, and most Jewish people will say, well, I'm Jew, and they will look at being Slovak as being another ethnic minority, or they certainly embrace their Slovak civil identity, their citizenship. Um, but it wouldn't, it's not a typical Jewish response, I think, in Slovakia to, oh, let's sort of group with Hungarian minorities and more or less make a, somehow make a coalition. Uh, and the other minorities, to some degree, are the same. They, they don't seek really to do that either. Um, and classically, Jews are in a bit of a, 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 a precarious political situation. Um, the collapse of communism and with it to some degree the rise of Slovak nationalism means that uh, prejudices and stereotypes of the past which are some degree characteristic of Slovak nationalism uh, become awakened and one of those is the so-called modularization which was what they look at as the attempt to modularize, to transform Slovak society into a more Hungarian society, and we're speaking over a hundred years ago. Um, and that is looked at a movement which is inimical to the Slovak national aspirations. But part of that stereotype is that Jews helped modularize, you know, Jews, the Jews as modularizers. That was a, a kind of a anti-Semitic canard, one of those kind of conspiracy um, uh, kind of theories. I, I don't know the exact um, statistics, but it is true at a time when uh, being Jewish was not an official minority membership. So, and one declared oneself either a Slovak, German, or Hungarian, many Jews did in a sense, declare themselves as being Hungarian, but it wasn't a ideological message. Many of them were Hungarian speakers. They just, you know, felt more belonging to that group. But nowadays, for this reason, Jews would be reluctant, perhaps, to rush and, and be, you know, and create this kind of a uh, a, a uh, single interest group or, or something like that with Hungarians. And of course now we know that Hungarian nationalism is also on the rise, so Hungarians don't love Jews either, with a similar trend in Hungary of Hungarian nationalism on the rise, which also kind of looks at the Jew as the outsider and, you know, almost being carried by this George Soros, you know, um, figure in a sim similar kind of uh, conspiracy um, theories which are becoming popular in America also. Um, and so that intensifies this idea, I mean, that Jews are not really keen on uh, somehow creating uh, this teamwork with, with Hungarian minority, because the Hungarian minority in Slovakia is connected to Hungarian activity in, in Hungary, of course even though the actual Hungarian party is very friendly with Jews and there is a lot of communication there. Now the Hungarian party is no longer only a Hungarian party. They, it, it, for years it was, and now it's uh, this, um, uh, it's a hybrid of, of, of Hungarian politicians and, and Slovak politicians. Now, however, if we look at the, if we, um, if we look at the Roma population, there, there's a lot, strangely, although on an intellectual level, the Jews have much more in common with Hungarians than they do with Roma. But in terms of perception, um, there tends to be more, more sympathy um, for the Roma population amongst Jews. 
Um, I think it just evokes the classic and historical Jewish tendency towards activism and trying to help people who are, uh, who are disadvantaged. Um, but of course, in general, the Roma situation in Slovakia is, is, is complicated uh, and difficult to solve. And I don't think there's a lot of activity uh, on the part of Jews in, in that area. You know, they're individuals, but like in general, what we're seeing is that the historical experience and the trauma of the Holocaust um, uh, kind of means that the Jews either are really not getting politically involved with other ethnic groups so much, and maybe not even in Jewish activity either, or some who do get involved in Jewish activity, um, but don't so much team up with, with, with other ethnic groups. I think that's a general picture.